Hi William, Stuart Graham from Avalon Solutions, hope you're well. Thanks for the blog about the postal strike. Um, like you, I've had a ream of paper since I started my business, which was in March 2008, and I've still got it, and in fact I've used hardly any of it. I did actually think about guillotining it and using it as compliment slips at one point. Uh, most of my communication is done via email and via Skype and telephone. And in fact, most of my telephone calls are really now by mobile or by Skype. Most of them are not by a landline. So I don't think the strike is going to have much of an effect on me. Uh, I coach in schools and uh, as a result of linking up with one school, they are now using BACS as a payment method rather than sending out cheques. Previously to connecting with me, they used to send out cheques, but I asked them to pay me by electronic payment. Some people are still sending out cheques to me, which is a little bit annoying. I'd rather they pay me electronically, as it's a lot easier, a lot faster, and I can see it coming straight into my account. I don't have to wander to the bank uh, to pay a cheque in. So I don't think the postal strike is going to have that much of an effect on me. Long term, I think that there is a risk to the post office because we are becoming much more electronic and everything is going electronic. Uh, even now, I'm starting to respond to blogs by video rather than by uh, written word or by typing it out. I think partly to do with the fact that people get to know me, get to see me, get to listen to me and actually get to know me better because they see my face rather than just listening or reading the written word. Uh, it also takes a lot less time. Um, so thanks very much for the opportunity to reply to the blog and I hope the postal strike doesn't affect you too much. Cheers.